Hi, good morning. My name is Lisa. This is my dad, Roy. Welcome good to morning. Key Worldwide. We have a really good outline today. It's a really good message, and it's talking about what's the missing link. And this is a very, very good outline. We are hmm. going to going to fundamentals and foundation here to start. We are a spirit being. We're housed in an earth suit, and we have a soul. Now, the soul is the mind, the will, and the emotions. Okay, where is our guidance system? Where's our guidance system that guides us as far as how to go through, go through life? Well, really the spirit, but also the mind, soul. Well, that, that's true, but if, if there's not any... Uh, if there's not any programming in the spirit as far as God's word, it's going to be totally from the mind. Ooh, yes. And that's and that's the challenge. So, what guides us on our journey uh, through life on this earth? Our spirit, our soul, and our body. So, which one? Which one is it that guides us? It should be our spirit, but usually it's it's the soul. Unless it's renewed and you're living in the spirit. And the vast majority of people, Christians, etc., it's the soul. Yes. And uh, and then once it goes from total soul on the way to total dependency in the spirit, that's some time and you make decisions are made as far as how to live your life, etc. Et and the soul, most people don't realize, it is everything to do with the mind, thoughts, will, emotions, memories, personality, everything we do with our thinker and also our will. Yeah, I mean, it, it like Lisa, our, our mind puts everything in motion, words, acts, etc. And what we deposit, now this is the key thing, what we deposit in our mind mm -hmm. will determine our journey through life. Why is that? Because what we deposit in our mind is eventually, in most cases, going to come out of our mouth, and what we say is what we get. And depositing is not just what we actively study no. and read. It's everything and we see in any, any sound, if, if you will. Sound or vi visual. Yep. And uh, so natural world input will guide us to conform to mm -hmm. the principles of the God of this world. Now... I didn't. I didn't know that for a long, long time. Just that that statement I said right mm -hmm. there, and that is natural world input will guide us to conform to the principles mm -hmm. of the God of this world, who is Satan. And you want me to read Second Corinthians four four from the NLT. Satan, who is God of this world, has blinded the minds of those who don't believe. They are unable to see the glorious light of the good news. They don't understand this message about the glory of Christ, who is the exact likeness of God. They're blinded. Their eyes are blinded. It's like blocked. So this is the reason, This because of this is the reason that we have the scripture in Romans 12 too. This is also from the New Living Translation. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. But let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. That's, that's probably the heartbeat, the heartbeat of, uh, of what we need to focus on. That being as far as that what we put in our mind up here. Or allow it to in, see and hear, right? Yeah. And, and then what, what goes in, what goes in is going to determine where we're going to be tomorrow, the next day, the next yes. day. Yes. And so that's the reason why that we have to be so careful about what we're exposed to. So the Bible was given was given to transform us from a de demon. This is it. The Bible was given to transform us from a demon-controlled world system yes. to God's original plan for our lives. Mm-hmm. Here's, here's the verse. Jeremiah 29, 11. This is from the New American Standard. God says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for prosperity and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. Was that the wrong one? That's the perfect one. Okay. Glory Plan and expect an end. We can 
we can change our mind. So, so if a person is that is that's listening to this has not been in the Word, has not been deposited, has not been programming godly thoughts into the mind, hark, we can start right now, and we can start that process as far as diluting the thoughts from the natural world and right. actually replacing it yes. with godly God's thoughts. Yes. Okay. So we can change change our mind and we do do it by programming it to conform to thinking God's thoughts, thereby upgrading our personal guidance system. Ooh. So at the very beginning we talked about our mind was guiding us through life and that's going to be subject to the natural world, but when we get into the Word consistently and start renewing and tr our mind and transforming our mind, then that guidance system, yes. if you will, it'll kind of it'll kind of clean up a little bit. It won't be so so dirty. It'll be uh, whiter. So it'll go ahead and just, just guide us exactly to the plan that God yes. wrote in the in the Lamb's Book of Life before the foundation of the world. Yes. Okay. All right, so where are we? Do you want me to in? do that? Yeah, let's do that. So this is what about, okay, so Joshua 1.8, New Living Translation. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night so that you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. So we can succeed in a natural, but there is always a cap or ceiling or disaster. When we prosper God's way, he's in charge and protects and it's, it's lifelong. Here's the accelerator. The accelerator is meditation. I like that word. It is meditation because what it does, it and you will see in a minute, it accelerates the transformation that's taken place in Romans 12 too. And, and so we need to meditate on something out of the Word of God. Yes. We need, we need, we need to meditate on something out of the Word of God. When we do it, when we do it, it begins to affect our image mm -hmm. and our imagination mm -hmm. and how we see, th see mm -hmm. things. So the more that we can do as far as creating an image in our mind. Or letting the Word do it, yes. To, to, to influence it as far as to have that image in our mm -hmm. mind that is consistent with God's plan for us here on earth. When we do that, then the manifestation is going to come quicker than it, any other way very that I know. true. Now, the with God, we have to see it before we can physically see it and have it manifested. What does meditation mean? Lisa. From the 1828 Dictionary. Oh. You're the one that told me to do that. Oh. So meditation means, from that book, close, close, or continue, close or continued thought. The turning or revolving of a subject in the mind. Serious contemplation. I've had words in the past relative to Joshua 1.8. Muse. Mm. Ponder. Mm -hmm. Here's one. Kind of speak out loud underneath my breath. Hmm. Mutter. Right? Yeah, mutter. And uh, and when you do that and you have the image in your mind's eye, if you will, then what it's doing is that it's activating the juices, what I call it. It's activating the juices of faith so that you have a, uh, you're taking a step as far as trusting and believing in God's promises. For those people that are not as sharp and can concentrate just like in thin air like he can, you can write it. That's what I had to do. Yeah. Write and write. That's how I meditate is writing the scriptures over and over and talking them out loud. And then they just came. Yes, you did. You wrote. Yes. Wrote, and, and I'm wrote. a big fan of writing because uh -huh. the Lord told me to do it. I didn't even think twice. And now it's inside so deep. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I, I like to do the thinking. You like to do the writing. Yes. Therefore, we can balance each other. That's right. In closing, awesome truth is this. When we see it, and up here, when we, not here, but up here. Inside. When mm -hmm. we see it, and then believe it, and then act on it in faith, our success is guaranteed. 
God's Word says so. Mm -hmm. For most Christians is that meditation is the missing link mm -hmm. or the absence of it. Now, one of my favorite scriptures as far as uh, imagination is this one right here, and we'll end with this. Genesis 11, 6, from the King James, second part. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, restrained being withheld, which they, which they have imagined to do. So when you create, when you create that image mm -hmm. and you undergird it as far as with the word of mm -hmm. God, and you just keep visualizing, and as we said last broadcast, thanking, and then that evolves into praising, and when it goes into praising, that's when God takes over. And it all starts with meditating on the word, not correct. the object or the thing that we want. That is correct. Glory you, to God. One, one might, as one man of God explained to me, is that on a particular dream, if you have that, you get, you get the picture of that so that you can visualize it relative to what God's plan is for you in, uh, uh, in this life. And then kind of put it aside, yep. and then you do, which is the foundation of King Worldwide Ministry. You do Matthew 6, 33, which is seek first the kingdom of God. And then Glory this little thing God. over here on, that you put aside, the dream, it'll manifest. Yes. Glory have, to God. Have a great day.